Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's a little chilly out here today, but I'm gonna take this little product out for a flight. This is a drone that is under 250 grams and costs very little and has obstacle detection on it and is supposed to fly in level seven winds. Right now the winds are happening, but uh, it's not level seven right now, but this drone, being with all the things I just said about it, uh, does not have a three axis gimbal on it, but it has electronic image stabilization. So let me explain something to you as I pull it out here. If you have a drone without three axis gimbal, and you fly it in level seven or level five winds, the drone, I'm just gonna unfold it here to show you, the drone will do this, watch. So, I'm the wind, this is the drone. Whoa, ho, ho, cause it's trying to hold itself in position with GPS, it's moving all over the place. If you do not have a three axis gimbal, guess what your image does? It does this as well. So your video is gonna look like that. With electronic image stabilization, it's pretty much designed, if that's all it has, it's pretty much designed for a little tilt like this and this. So light winds is best to fly this in. Now let me show you a close up of the camera because the camera on here is designed after the DJI Mavic 3 camera, you know, with the two cameras, but there's only one camera in it. All Although when you're flying, you can switch between this camera and the bottom camera or have it a picture in picture when you're flying to see both as you're flying, which is pretty cool. Flight time on this is about 25 minutes and the range is about 1200 meters, which is a kilometer. So in actual fact, you're probably getting what? 800 meters, 500 meters, 600 meters. I really don't know, but it won't be 1200. Sensors on the bottom. There is an optical flow sensor for stability. You can fly it indoors. I have flown this indoors and you can do it as long as there's a lot of light in your area. The camera up front says in the specs that it can take 8K photos, which is true. I did check out the photo resolution. It is 8K. It doesn't mean it's a good 8K, it's more like a 2K bounced up to 8K. So that's what you're gonna get in the end. And it records it to your phone. The same is true with the video. The video on the spec says 4K, but it's really 1080p and it's recorded back to your phone because I can't find any place on this drone, no matter where I look, where would you put a micro SD card in here? I have looked all over the place and I can't find any place. So I don't think it uses a micro SD card. I think you have to record everything on your phone. That could be a problem in this video because I always record my phone screen to show what I see. And at the same time, this is gonna be recording on my phone in a different sort of app. So I don't know if there's gonna be any conflict, but we'll find out in this video. Now up top here is where the obstacle avoidance goes. And it's just a module that comes in a box. You put it on top if you wanna fly with obstacle avoidance. If you don't wanna fly with obstacle avoidance on, just leave it off. Obstacle avoidance for budget drones that has a unit that goes on the top of the drone uses a laser. And because of that, it's light. And because of that, if the sun is not directly above you and is sort of low in the horizon, the sun reflects off objects or gets in the laser and it thinks everything is an object. So it gets afraid of its shadow. It's probably gonna happen here as well. So you have to either turn it away from the sun or fly when the sun is directly above. My sun is, well, in the horizon at the moment. So eh, it might not work out too well, but we're gonna give this a try. All right, first things first, let's take this top off because we're gonna put the obstacle avoidance on. Now, during this video, I might say obstacle avoidance or obstacle detection. There is a difference and I usually say them both interchangeably, but uh, for this, if you hear it, it just means the same thing. So the difference, if you're not familiar, obstacle detection means that a drone will see something and stop. Obstacle avoidance means a drone will see something and go around it. So this obviously would have obstacle detection. It would see something and stop. All right, it comes with this little controller, which has interesting antennas. You have to pull them out first before you can pull out the arm arms. There we go. And the arms are what holds your phone right in here. Now let's power on the drone and these little lights will turn blue. There we go. Blue and flashing. So flashing is good. That's what you want. It means it's ready to, uh, for you to do a few calibrations on it to get it going. So let's put it down. Then on your controller over here, you see this button. That's your horizontal calibration, your gyro calibration. Just press it. You hear a beep, that's good. And the lights will be flashing. They'll stop flashing in a second. And then to do your compass calibration, it's this button, hold, press it down and hold it. Beeps, and let's do our compass calibration. It's really simple. We just wanna make the lights all turn solid. So let's spin it once, wait for a beep. There we go. And now put it up and spin it. Should hear a beep. There we go, we're done. 
that simple we are ready to fly so now with your phone make sure you connect your phone to the wi-fi of the drone you can see it on my screen i'm pointing to it if my screen is recording hopefully the record is working the app you have to use with this drone is called rx drone just tap on it I should also mention one of the things I like about this app is it tells you right in the center bottom if you are connected to the drone. So you should see Wi-Fi and then the name of the drone down there like you see on mine. All right, let's hit the play button. There we go. And then you take your phone and you just stick it in the controller in these little arms as best you can. I've got a case on mine so it doesn't fit very well, but now nah, I'll leave it in there. I'll just hold it with my hands close together. Thankfully in Canada, us Canadians, when it's like minus five degrees Celsius out, we can expose our skin and it feels perfectly fine. We don't get frozen. All right, so I'm gonna stand up and fly this baby. Here we go. Let's see how our compass calibration did. Whoa, 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 I gotta stop, I gotta stop because I forgot to tell you. On your controller, you have a big switch here. I'll hold it up so my, my hat cam can get it. Big switch here, it says home or GPS. So when you're in the house, put it on home. And when you're outside, put it on GPS or else if I left it on home, it would just fly without GPS. There we go. Now we're on GPS and it hopefully doesn't toilet bowl. It should fly. Take it up. There we go. It's using the GPS. I can hear the obstacle avoidance going dee 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 doing its things. Not bad. It's in the wind and it's sitting there. All right, so it does detect me. It's beeping there. You hear it beeping? That means I'm in the way. I'm an object. So let me just take it up so you can see me. Unfortunately, the video quality on here is not the greatest. You see, it's kind of like jello bouncing around. And yeah, it's not the greatest. I was hoping it'd be better. It's probably due to the cold out here that it's not helping at all. But uh, there you see me. And I will say the obstacle avoidance does work. Well, at least it makes the beep sounds. That works. So let's try this. I'm going to come and uh, fly it into my car. I'll take it back. Oh, look at that. If I go, hey, that's pretty sweet. Did you see that? Watch this. Watch this. That is pretty cool. I've never seen that on a budget drone. Watch this. Okay, look at the obstacle avoidance up top. Now I'm going to fly it backwards. When I fly it backwards, the obstacle avoidance turns to the rear. Watch this. I'll go slow backwards. Slow back. See it turn? Now I'm going backwards. So it checks the avoidance in the rear. And then it, when I stop, it goes back to the front. Wow, that's a 360 obstacle avoidance. And I go to the side, it turns to the side. So if I come towards me sideways, it looks at me, look at that. That is so sweet. Wow, if only the camera was better, everything else works. So there's my Jeep. Let's see, does it actually stop? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, there we go. Didn't want to go forward, but I was pushing the joystick forward. So it does stop. See, I'll go slow and see it stops. It's stopping, it's stopping, it's stopping, it's stopping. Yeah, so there it is. So the obstacle avoidance actually works on this little inexpensive drone. That's pretty sweet. But anyways, that's what you get for that price. You could probably slap a different camera on there if you wanted to. Some little little camera that might look better. Well, that's not too bad now. It's when, when it calms down and the wind isn't going crazy, then it looks okay. Except my world seems tilted. I am like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's a little on an angle. That's what I told you with the electronic image stabilization. If the wind is pushing it, that's what happens. So you have to get it more like this where the wind is coming from uh, I don't know, some direction. I don't know. There we go. Like that. So let me show you the features on here really quick. Oh, before I show you the features, let me take a photo and show you the 8K. Snapping a photo. There we go. That's your 8K photo right there. Here's, a, here's another one. I'll get closer so it looks more appealing. There's another one. So on my screen, if it's recording, you have a little picture of a drone. Click on that. And those are all the things that can do. And I'm not going to do them all today. Calibration, switch cameras. So I should be able to, let me see. Can I look at the ground? If I click on switch camera there we go there's the ground and here I'll walk under it there I am under it right now there you go that's me underneath the drone that's the bottom camera okay so I'm gonna click on where's the follow follow does it work GPS follow face follow body follow so GPS follow uh, you have to put the camera on yourself but the problem is with GPS follow that you have to put uh, have the camera face you because if not well it's just gonna fly and it stops whenever it sees something like that it's there it is See if I walk towards it is it gonna fly backwards and it flies backwards and the obstacle avoidance goes to the rear and if I go forward does it go forward uh, yeah it goes forward but it just it keeps stopping every now and then there it is see it, it's seen something so I don't know I've never heard a body follow but I'm pretty sure that's something where it just yeah you could see there's a green box around me so is that gonna follow me so the green box is following me does the drone follow me I'm going slow 
try it again. Maybe I have to get closer. Maybe that, some of these have to get closer. I'm going to touch it this time. Okay, it's red now. Is that the follow? Moving backwards. Moving sideways. No, I'm out of the box. No idea how that works. The two of these other things, uh, like circle. Let's see what it can smash into here. Circle? Why is it showing me a map for circle? There I am down there. Oh, do I have to pick something to circle? So the blue dot is obviously me, so I'll just pick beside me. Here, circle that. Okay, it's doing a circle mode now, but it's going too fast, and it's... There we go. Over my head. There's circle mode. One thing I noticed about the circle mode is that it still sees objects, so it's going to stop itself. i got to get back in the center here. <laughs> Anyways, there it goes there. So there's your circle mode. If it sees an object, it will go up. Although I do see the obstacle avoidance pointing to the front, which is odd. So on my phone, I saw a setting for speed. It said 60%. There we go. What am I on? 100%. There we are. It says it right on the screen. So let's try that. And here we go. A little faster. Let's come back with the wind. 100% speed with the wind. There we go. Much better. And I'm going to hit return to home now. I just want to see how well it does coming back. So there's a little return to home on here. Let's see. Does it come back to me? It's going up. Home is down here. We'll see where she lands. There we go. There's my phone screen. You probably can't see anything because of the glare. But uh, here's our drone up there. There it is. It's spun around and it's coming down. It's doing well. It's pretty darn close to the landing pad, I'm pretty sure. It is. Coming down. Look at that. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Look at that. There you are. Whoa. So it made it down there and our landing pad is right over here. So there's the distance between the two. Not bad. Now if you buy this drone, let me show you what you get in the box. Check this out. This is the box your drone comes in. Inside the box is a nice little carry case and inside that carry case would be your drone and accessories. This is a foldable drone, so unfolded the drone looks like this. The drone is powered by a 2500 milliamp hour LiPo battery. One accessory is laser obstacle detection, which comes in a box. When you take it out of the box, it looks like this. And when you place it on the drone, it looks like this. Total weight of the drone with obstacle detection is 228 grams. A rechargeable remote control is included. It folds up nicely and when you unfold it, it looks like this. Other accessories would be spare props, a micro Phillips screwdriver and a USB cable for charging and your instruction manual. All right, so what are my final thoughts on a drone like this? Well, first off, I have to check the price before I make any sort of determination because honestly, for the amount you pay for what you get for this drone, it's not that bad. It's a very, very entry level drone designed for beginners, for people that do not want to spend a lot of money and just want a camera drone with a lot of cool features on it that an obstacle avoidance that actually kind of works that's under 250 grams where it's weak is obviously in the video quality you saw that because you know it's like i said there's no three axis gimbal so you get what you get you've seen here what this drone could do and yes it will fly better in warmer weather and less windy weather but honestly it's not going to become like uh, the next dji mavic 3 just because it has a camera that looks like the dji mavic 3 i'm sure there's some goofball out there with a youtube channel that's going to review this and go dji mavic 3 killer you know something for some sort of clickbait catchphrase but anyways that's my review of this little budget drone i review budget drones on my channel you know this is a very professional channel the only reason i review budget drones is because there's so many people that want to get into the drone hobby and they don't want to spend a thousand or two thousand dollars for their first drone so they always ask me about these cheapy drones and the only way i can answer them is to show them on my channel and basically test it out for myself so i have an idea so that's why i show the cheapy drones on a channel with all professional drones all right guys hope you enjoyed this video if you have any comments on this drone post them below if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to buy this drone there's discount codes it's not very much links are below go check it out and i will catch you in another video with really cool rc products and some really expensive drones too Okay, until then, bye.